Hi, y'all. I don't know why sometimes I click on this button and just like want to laugh or it's what I'm thinking about or what I'm reading or finna say or trying to say it or sometimes this is my second or third recording and I'm tired and I want to cuss but instead I laugh. So, how you doing? Nobody cares. The world don't care. <laughs> Let me stop. I care though. I actually tell my kids that I'm not going to be funny. Actually, I tell my kids that the world don't care about them. And that's very true. It's nice people in the world, yes, but they will get you and you will get got. I'm your nosy neighbor lady. Thanks for stopping by. You are the apple in my eye? Yeah. Look nice today. Because I'm landless, I'm telling the truth. You know how you looking. I'm Stop rewinding, okay. What are we talking about today, ladies and gentlemen? Let me stop playing and bring it down. Let's get these. Bow, 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 bow. Other races of men want black women. We're just not available emotionally, physically, um, psychologically from all the trauma and slave and all that stuff being raped by slave masters. But I don't know why I keep saying this, but I think the slave master might want to clean up the house. I don't know. Y'all know I'm giving me an Ontario Banderas. Antonio Banderas. Y'all know how to say Antonio Banderas. I say my language for my culture. I'm just going to stop playing with y'all. You know once it go in you, it's like you partially that person. <laughs> We don't mix business with pleasure. Black women, we really don't. And just emotionally, as far as uh, sometimes we're thinking about things that are going on at home, and especially if you got a black man, it's probably some type of drama. He's screwing somebody and some type of drama, whether he work or don't work. Uh, working does not classify a good man. Uh, I kind of get tired of people posting it on my page. It's like, I work. 98% of black women do too. <sighs> anyway, they can't tell. Oh, yeah, we can't tell you guys are interested. Other races of men kind of are not as aggressive, I guess. Well, Latino guys are pretty forthcoming. Once I kind of do a smile or something, they be like. And white men, they'll talk about the weather and sports and everything all around the world and never ask you out unless you say something. Or they'll ask you out like in a. Me and so my people are going here. Would you like to join us? So as black women, we're thinking, oh, they don't want to date us because they want us to join people with other people. I don't know what that is. Over uh, the years, I have realized that um, <clears throat> we don't like work events. Like, comment, subscribe. I love your comments. Say happy Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday to your girl. But your comments do make my day. Miss Armani, thank you uh, very much. I was thinking about you. And uh, Amor Amani, Amani Amor. Sometimes when I'm looking at letters and trying to read them, hey, you guys, I just enjoy, uh, I enjoy you all. The back and forth banter of love that's not working. So, <laughs> We don't really get in school activities because a lot of times we're either back to school or we're really focused on school and then we have a separate life because black women live in dualities, two realities. We have to be one person here and we can be free to be ourselves at home. And it's if we could be ourselves at home and we could be free to be ourselves at our uh, like volunteer activity job or salsa class we take or knitting or you know what I'm saying. So it's like we have to put on so many different personas to make other people comfortable and happy about us that it's like if you're not talking direct other race of men that be on my channel asking about this topic, that's why I'm covering it and saying I had a white guy put on my page, black women ignore me and I love them and I want them. White men, what y'all need to do, <clears throat> not being funny for the not right dating advice, stop saying you're white. I don't know what that is about y'all. Y'all just like wanna just keep telling people you white like people didn't know about your voice or some people got a white voice, quote unquote, but you can still tell the difference. I don't care. You can tell the difference. For some reason that announcing, I don't know what it is, announcement, they, yeah, this is backwards. Yeah, 
Because I like it this way. This is just shirt backwards. Anyway, <clears throat> y'all know we do stuff how we want to do it around here. Yeah, we don't want to bring work home with us. We want to go home and rest and like take off our bra and stuff. Or go on to the next event that we have to be at. But white people, do y'all want to go home? Why y'all always be at the work events clowning and stuff? I don't be wanting to go because Monday the stories, I can separate myself from my job and it can actually escape. But um, I think maybe you guys should give that job a party a chance. I guess the vulnerability of everybody making a fool of themselves lets you guys grow at a deeper connection or level. You know I'm a hoodologist, ghettoologist, psychologist. Not psychologist, no psychology, no. Blackology. <clears throat> Peopleology. <sighs> I was so upset with Godfrey for belittling that girl sociology did you sociology degree that she got and worked hard for. I see these mammy and mule and channels turned around now they talking about nobody care about your education and they realize it's a common thread across the black man, whether you wanna ride with him or not. They all act the same. How are these women hitting the internet with the same narrative? See, that's why I tell my story so you guys can connect that I connected in my life. I'm not finna just keep telling you what people been doing and I can't tell you how I learned it or that I was there and I seen something. You know, I'm not knocking nobody for their hustle. I'm not saying women need to tell their business, this and that and the other, but I know what type of person I want to be if, when my channel grows, when my book come out, when my Deaf Comedy Channel special, when y'all buy my second bestseller, all this stuff. Like, I want my story out. I'm selling my story. You know, and my journey. So, I enjoy, I enjoy you guys and I invite you guys to do your books. Get online. Start your second business. It's, uh, whatever it is, it does not have to be on a platform where people are seeing you. They have all kind of classes online. Click on one that's free training seminar and whatever you're doing. You see them at the bottom of YouTube on your uh, laptop or desktop. I don't know if I ever saw them on my phone, but uh, the BBC, we're back to that. They say they have inches too. That's what the white men and the Latino men. What is the one guy, Alejandro? Do I got an Alejandro over here? It's like three names in one. But thanks for putting the picture up. The pictures always help me. Um, this race fetish play, I was thinking about that. Because I said I was going to do this uh, video right. But I was thinking about the race fetish play. It's like, oh my God, I hope you don't think he can call me race, uh, slave. And we're going to play slave master and all that. And ebony porn and she male porn is the top porn hands down i don't care what nobody say i didn't read it anywhere i know it is it's listed at the top you got so many separate categories and they make you know how you know stuff trend and when they make you see it over and over like i remember a time i didn't see she male or chick with sticks but now like when you see stuff over and over that's what they but that's the number one and the number two so other races of men do want you guys i just don't know why people hating on y'all swags like that like they want y'all to stay down in the dumps with them so i guess when they talk about going to mcdonald's we we'll go back to mcdonald's <laughs> i do go to mcdonald's though for my kids sometimes if they want it uh but you know what i do like if i do i like they got that two two breakfast where you get the hash brown and like the little what i get the sausage meat muffin yeah so or something whatever anyway back to the topic at hand i'm your nosy neighbor lady.com no e and uh i'ma see you right on this what's this thing? black women hard oh we have a hard time accepting kindness we do because we always think what are their motives and i think that might be a result of dealing with black men you know what i was thinking too Black men, black women might not want black women to date out because then who would they scheme and rob? You know, a lot of women go out meeting women and then they man scheme them and rob them and they act like they friends and they rob them and stuff. That's a hustle, like a, a scheme. Yeah. Or who they gonna get to write the bad checks and get y'all in trouble and not them? Y'all might get away from the black community. No more hood scams on the girl who went to work. And you say, oh, I thought she was my friend, no. She wants to screw you, screw you, rape you, and rob you. <laughs> Male identified women. 
but of course, there are other ways to be male-identified women. I realized I was a male-identified woman when I thought about all the boys and my cousins and all the men that I grew up around and um, my cousins, really. So uh, I had one girl cousin who was my roly roly. I had two other ones, but we wasn't together, you know, every day or every in and out. You know what I'm saying? So home drama. We can't enjoy ourselves. We're stuck at home with a clown. Okay, yeah. Because some clowns, y'all know y'all clowns. Clowns do different things. They don't have to rape. They don't have to rob. They don't have to steal. But they all are cheating. They all are lying. They all are having sex actively with men. I'm so sick of these guys acting like we're destroying the black family like it's just even hearing them say that oh we need to get the family back we don't they do it in a racial like we seen y'all at the interracial place first y'all do the best interracial so if we learn how to do the interracial interracial right the interracial we learned the infra, in, interracial <laughs> i gotta say it like from black men they taught us how to swirl Swirl, dip it, duck it. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ah, oh, 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 oh. We doing it like them. Let me stop <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with these dudes. And they study getting out there talking about swirling. And talking about black families and ain't in the households. And it's 2022. Few dads are stepping up, I can say. Kirk, Kirk Franklin, Ricky Smiley is the only dad he's on the world. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know why I want to say that. <laughs> I don't know why they came out like that. Forgive me. You guys know I wanted to be a comedian once upon a time. Everything is not a fetish or a fantasy. Some people are really looking for love. Is some uh, white men, Latino men, Asian men been thinking about a black woman all his life? You might could make his dream come true. And then, yes, he's going to compensate you. He's going to do everything you want to do. And uh, maybe you guys should make a list of date places you want to go if someone asks you what you want to do. You should know where you want to go or know what you want to do. But sometimes black men will be like, I've seen it happen to people, but, you know, I'm going wherever I'm going, how I'm going. I don't like nobody but somebody who likes to get out the house. But uh, he was like, see, you don't even know where you want to go. You don't even know where you want to go. And she was just like, couldn't say nothing. But that control your man with words you, and, and physical violence and emotional abuse. You guys don't know. You guys are in abusive relationships. And for people who call me and leave me long messages, uh, you're a bum. Don't leave long messages. Not for my business line. I'm talking about personal. Because everybody watching ain't watching. So for you calling my phone, leaving me long messages that no one can hear. Suck a dia, see ya. Let's get to the next point on this no court. Your oh, girl is getting distracted. Wanna make it? Okay. I think that you guys should get used to the idea. I'm watching interracial porn. I don't watch porn. I don't support porn. Um but I have to reprogram my mind for my last black man summer or last. What stage are you in? Okay, we have to know that there's stages of acceptance, like there's stages of grief. Don't understand why y'all like black men. What was that about? Oh, white men don't understand why y'all like black men. Latino don't. They just figure we bip got crazy. That's all. Bip got crazy because they like wow he doesn't do anything and every time she comes in here and pay, i look at y'all going to the store he get everything he want going grocery shopping with y'all my i ain't never had no man go grocery shopping with me one time i did one time one time did I, oh wait when oh wait no let me not say one time recently no when i lived with my guy we used to go grocery shopping together yeah um that was we go a long way back. I don't mess around. Y'all know my boyfriend keep in place. I guess I know what my standards are. Do you know what yours are? I don't know. Maybe y'all like the move-ins. Make you feel like y'all faking it for a little while. Oh, this could be something. Guess what? Two years out. Guess meet somebody else. This could be something. That's what they talking about with standards. You guys can have standards in your mind and not in your life. IRL, that's how we fake news. You living a fake life. You faking to yourself. Yeah. 
hoodology, ghettoology, trapology, noseology. And I will see you. Can y'all ram that one for me? <laughs>